Hey guys, what's going on and welcome back to Tech Pro. Today in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to create your very own LAN server. So let's get started. This tutorial is going to be for 1.12.2. So make sure you're running 1.12.2. Um, and we're actually going to go ahead and uh, close out of the Minecraft launcher because we don't need that right now. Uh, we're going to have to download a file. Um, it'll be linked in the description. So be sure to check that if you want to download any of these things that I'm using. Alrighty guys, so I've gone ahead and downloaded the server file off of my website, so you can go ahead and check that out. Um, it's just a .jar file, it's super simple. Uh, go ahead and right click on your desktop, go over new, and then folder. You can name it MC or whatever you want, and then open that up. So you're going to go ahead and drag in that server file into the folder that we just created. Go ahead and double click it here, and it will uh, actually create a few other files that are inside of here, which we are going to use for this little tutorial. So right here you can see the license agreement. Open that up and change this to true. And then just close out, click save. That's basically going to accept the license agreement. Um, and actually before we open any of that, we're going to go ahead and open up Chrome. And then we're going to uh, use the port forwarding method, which a lot of people think is actually really difficult, but it's not that hard to do this. So keep that in mind as you are watching this is all good head down to the port forwarding tab inside of your Wi-Fi router go over here to add service and then you can see we're just gonna name it Minecraft and then we can actually uh, change this to TCP and then we're going to have our starting port 25565 make the bottom one the exact same 25565 and then you're gonna go and click add okay so now that's all in there. We're going to go ahead and uh, minimize this window now. Open up the MC folder again, double click on server, and then it will go ahead and create our Minecraft server. Go ahead and open up your Minecraft launcher. Be sure it is set to 1.12.2. I've also got 1.14 um, as a downloadable file on my website, but it's, it's the exact same method, so there shouldn't be any sort of difference. Anyway, Minecraft will go ahead and open here and I will show you all what to do from there. Okay, so we are now inside of Minecraft. We're just gonna go ahead and head over here to the multiplayer tab, and I've actually already got my server in here, but I'm gonna go ahead and delete that. Anyway, you're gonna see something that looks like this. Go ahead and uh, click the add server uh, button here, and we're gonna paste in that IP address that we uh, had earlier. Now, instead of just clicking done, we're actually going to type in colon, and then 25565, which is our port number. Go ahead and click done and it will load straight in. So you can actually go ahead and jump straight into the server right now and just play as you you know would normally do, right? Um, but the only sad part about this is that right now you're not a moderator. So you really can't make any changes to this server. You can't change game modes, you can't really ban people or anything. So if you just want to play as a normal player, this is perfectly fine. But if you're like me, you're probably going to want to be a moderator. So I'm going to go ahead and show you all how to um, turn yourself into a moderator. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and minimize out of Minecraft. Uh, go ahead and open up your Minecraft server window over here and type in OP and then your gamer tag. Okay, click enter and it will now say opt and then your gamer tag after that. So now you can see um, I can do stuff like game mode one and I'm now in creative mode and I have cheats and everything. But other people that join will not have that ability unless you um, do that op command and then type in their gamertag after that. So super great. And also inside of this um, command line here, it's the exact same as the one that's in Minecraft. So I can type in time set night. And of course, it'll make it night. But I can also come in here and slash time set, we'll say one for the day. And then you can see it changes it to morning so super great uh, I can also go ahead and kill myself so slash kill and then my gamer tag and it will go ahead and kill me so super great uh, functionality in here and you cannot do that unless you're a moderator which is pretty cool you can also have yourself uh, set as a normal player but have the moderator functions just inside of here so super great um, tool here uh, this is this is actually software made by Mojang and I'm gonna go ahead and actually end the video right here Thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you all in the next one